This is a 13 News Special Report. And greetings, folks, from the 13 News Studio in Topeka. I'm Mark Ewing. We're going to step aside from regular programming at this time in order to take you to Manhattan's Bramlage Coliseum. That is where Kansas State will be introducing its new basketball coach. His name is Bob Huggins, and he is a familiar name from the ranks of college basketball. For eight seasons, Huggins served as a head coach of both Walsh and Akron, but he made a name for himself as a head coach at Cincinnati, where he directed the Bearcats to 14 straight NCAA tournament appearances, which included a Final Four in 1992. His run at Cincinnati was not without its controversy. In 1998, the NCAA took away three scholarships from the Bearcats program and placed the team on two years probation for lack of institutional control over the program. With that, let's listen in as Kansas State University introduces its new basketball coach. People, as you might guess, this process uh, we're getting all too familiar with, and I want to assure you this is the last time I plan to do this for many, many years. So uh, we're going to make this one work. We feel very good about the process that we used. You know, I told you uh, for those that were uh, with us in Dallas that uh, you know it was important for us to provide a good experience for our student athletes and we define that a couple of ways a championship ring and a diploma and those things still matter to us and they will continue to matter as long as I'm involved in this athletic department we set out to find somebody that we knew was capable of taking our situation and building in it into something that uh, years ago we once had we wanted to find somebody it was going to be a fit here. We felt like we had a number of options that were available to us, but one that continued to be very intriguing to us was Coach Huggins. Certainly Bob's record speaks for itself. I did not know Bob, had not had a chance to uh, spend time with him until we got into this process, but those that I respected in this profession, coaches, people at the NCAA, commissioners, supervisor officials, if you can believe that, uh, that have uh, a lot of experience with coaches that I did not continue to say this was somebody we needed to talk to. And uh, so we decided that it was important for us to explore this option. After uh, our first visit, it was obvious to me that there was a, a shared philosophy about what basketball at this level was all about, how we could go about building a championship program at Kansas State. Uh, the way in which we wanted to do that obviously was very important to me. And I think for those of you that know me, um, we will not win at all costs. That's never been the case with any program I've been associated with. That's certainly not going to be the case here. We do want to win. We do want to provide a great atmosphere and a great experience for our student athlete. And when I met with our team 10 days ago, I told them I was going to do everything I could to put them in a position where instead of watching and uh, looking at other teams being selected to the NCAAs, that we would be that team selected to participate in the NCAA. So with that background and with that approach, we set forward to find who we felt like was the right person to do that. I'm going to stop at this point and introduce uh, our president, Dr. John Weefald, and ask him to uh, introduce our head coach, please. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bob, welcome. Well, my name is John Weefall. I'm president of K-State, and I'm happy to see so many people here today. Hey, thanks to the fans for coming here today, too. Let's give them a big hand up there. Thank you. And thank you to the media. I know we have many members of the media here today, and I want to thank each and every one of you for coming to this press conference today. We're delighted to have you here. And I want to thank Eddie Fogler who was hired by Tim Weiser to help us out on the search. And I think many of you know Eddie, great coach at Wichita State, Vanderbilt in South Carolina. And, and so that certainly made me feel comfortable that we had a person like that of unquestioned integrity and goodwill to help us in this very, very important search. And I want to thank Tim Weiser. You know, Tim and Eddie had the responsibility of coming up with a list of names that might be possibilities for the head basketball coach at Kansas State. And so for, let's say, at least two weeks, they've been very, very busy, you know, looking at a number of possibilities. This has been a great week for Kansas State. You know, on Tuesday, I got an email that four of our students won Goldwater scholarships. And that's like being first-team All-American in football or basketball. And, and it's too bad that 
We can't get more visibility when we have students winning the nation's most prestigious academic scholarships. And you know, we've had more Goldwater scholarships than any university public in the United States of America. So when you win a Goldwater, it's like being in a, the finalist for the Heisman. Well, and then Wednesday, I got an email from the Truman Foundation from Lewis Blair saying that one of our students had won a, a Truman Scholarship. And now I tell you what, that's like winning the Rhodes or the Marshall. So, you know, I'm just telling you, we've won more Rhodes, Marshalls, Trumans, Goldwaters, and Udalls than any public university. We've got 108 now, than any public university in the Pac-10, Big Ten, Big 12, ACC, SEC, or Big East. So we're doing a great job on the academic front. We have a great faculty, outstanding students, and, and we want to have competitive athletic programs. And so here was an opportunity to go out and find a basketball coach that would be a good fit for Kansas State. And I felt very comfortable that Eddie Fogler and Tim Weiser, both with very high principles and ethical standards and unquestioned integrity, would go out and plumb the depths and find a coach that would fit in here, that would do a nice job, and that it would be a symbiotic relationship with all of Kansas State academically and athletically. So I feel very good about the people that were helping us out. And, and they did do a great deal of research on a number of candidates. And it didn't take long before we were focusing on the former head coach at the University of Cincinnati. And so you have to know that Eddie and Tim called the NCAA like six or seven times. They talked to the commissioners of many of the athletic conferences. They talked to directors of officiating. They talked to fellow coaches. Eddie has known our new head coach for 20 years and likes him and feels he's an excellent coach and a good person. And everybody that we talked to felt the same way, including many of his former players. So, you know, sometimes things happen yeah, and you never know how life is going to work out. You know, when you think about America, I mean, isn't it a country that always presents opportunity? And it always gives people shall we say, an opportunity to, to fit in and to start over again. And I think that what we have here today in Coach Bob Huggins is a coach that can do a great job for us as a coach, as a recruiter, and I think do a good job of bringing in outstanding student athletes that are gonna go to class and that are gonna graduate. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased and proud to introduce the new head basketball coach for Kansas State University, Bob Huggins. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get this. So, thank you. Yeah, here they want to get a few shots here. Thank you. Dr. Weefall, Eddie and I uh, go back a little further than 20 years, I think. It's, uh, Eddie, is, Eddie looks a little older than I do, but we're, we're about the same age. In fact, I think, Eddie, we go back to Clarkston, Michigan and, and places like that about uh, when we were both starting in the business. I, I just want to, I, I want to thank everybody. Um, I am, I am really excited about this. I'm excited about this opportunity. I don't know that I've, I've ever been around nicer people, uh, people more committed to doing things the right way, more committed to uh, student athletes and, and their welfare. And Eddie called me and asked me would I be interested in, in Kansas State. And I, you know, I, honestly, I, I didn't know when we, the more we talked, uh, the more excited I got because I I hadn't seen Eddie that excited since I think uh, he beat us on a buzzer beater in Columbia maybe about the people here and when I had the opportunity to meet the people here I 
I saw why Eddie was so excited and, and, and so committed to the people here because they are wonderful people and, and people who care. And I, uh, I'm excited about coming here and, and continuing to build this basketball program and um, playing in the NCAA tournament and doing what, you know, the things that, that, that you're supposed to do. And um, we'll work hard, we'll be committed, and Jim and I are excited about the opportunity. Okay, open the floor for questions. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I know, number one, has, has this past year, this year out of coaching, changed your, your outlook or, or philosophy? And secondly, I, I've heard you say in the past that you don't listen to critics, sports radio, newspaper guys. Uh, do you, what would you say to your critics? Because there, there have been some... Uh, we've heard from today say because uh, of the kind of players you recruit they say and and things like that do you, what would you say to critics and on how you run a basketball program or have in the past well let me answer the second part first um, I would venture to say the people who are my critics have never met me they have never met my players they haven't spent 10 seconds on the campus with our guys because I think what you'll find that, that everybody who meets my players and spends time with my players and spends time with me and sees how we really do things, not how it's perceived that, that sometimes that we do things, uh, are no longer critics. Uh, they're, they're supporters. Um, and the first part, you know, I, I grew up in a town of 500 people. Uh, and a coal mine in town, and all I, I, I was around people who went to work every day, and that's kind of all I know. So, you know, a year off was great. I got to spend time with my family, which in this profession is, you don't get to do enough of. And I, I, had a, I had a great time with my family. We, we enjoyed the time we spent together. We actually had Christmas together for the first time in a while without players over. Um, my daughter's, my oldest daughter's 23 years old. It's the first time she can ever remember having Thanksgiving dinner when we didn't have the players at our house. And, you know, it's, it's kind of funny. You think that, you know, you're sitting around here and you think it'd be really nice. And both of my kids almost at the same time said, Dad, we really miss the guys. Uh, so it's, just, it's been nice. It's been nice to be able to spend time with the family and be a little more normal, I guess. Coach, how much do you know about the Kansas State basketball tradition? Well, I know a great deal. I'm, I'm the son of a coach, so uh, I, I know about the, the rich tradition. In fact, I was telling somebody today, virtually every time I talked to Oscar Robertson, he, he, he brought up Kansas State, and, and I don't know if you're familiar, but he had the, the, almost a 10-second count on the free free throw line against Kansas State and he, he talks about Bob Boozer all the time who he competed against in, in college and then was a teammate with the Cincinnati Royals so I, I know a good bit about Kansas State basketball what I didn't know my, my good friend Charlie Sponar filled me in Charlie is a huge uh, fan and, and uh, a, a huge fan of the history and Spoon is old enough I think he he probably grew up with, with most of the famous coaches that were here. Coach, had uh, other schools made overtures toward you? Um, did you turn them down? What set Kansas State apart? I don't want to avoid your question, but I don't. That part I don't really think is uh, important. I, from the time that that. Um, I started to talk to Eddie. I, I got I got really excited about Kansas State. Um, Kansas State is history-wise a lot like it was when I went into Cincinnati. Cincinnati had a great basketball tradition. They'd won national championships. They had great players. They had great coaches, and they had they had struggled a little bit for a while. And we 
were sitting last night going through the press guide, and we and, and I, we actually got a Cincinnati press guide and a Kansas State press guide, and, and went through. And there's there's a lot of similarities in the history, and uh, you, you've got great athletics here, and, and you've got great leadership here, and so there isn't any reason why you can't have great basketball here. And so Huggins, the new head coach at Kansas State's basketball programs, committing, uh, saying he'll work hard, he'll be committed. And that concludes our live coverage of Kansas State's basketball newser. Our news today starts at 5. It also goes to 5.30. And with that, we return you to regularly scheduled programming. This has been a 13 News special report.